Hey guys, Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Okay, welcome to this video. Hope you liked those little sequences at the start. That's going to be the subject of today's lesson. Three picking patterns that you need to know. Well, you don't necessarily need to know them. Uh, I was just fibbing to look honky, basically. <laughs> uh, but they may help you. Um, they present various different sort of problems and um, hopefully they will help you develop not only your picking skills but your abilities uh, regarding problem solving. And there's some position shifts in there that are going to require specific practice. Uh, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so why don't we get straight to it and I'll show you um, exercise number one or sequence number one. So they're all in D minor. Okay, and we'll start all the way up here. Fret 22. So the first sequence, we get this descending pattern here. That's all it is. Just a straight ahead uh, descending D minor. Then we ascend and then turn around like that. Okay, so picking wise, um, I'm doing up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, but you can do it whichever way that you want. With, with the outside picking here. If you, if you want to do that, that is, but um, the, uh, the former is, the, is generally the way I, I like to uh, approach my picking. A lot of inside picking, basically. So let's do that one again. Okay. Then we're just going to move down by step diatonically. So if we're in D minor. Okay, so I'll play that nice and slowly. Same pattern. So once we've got the first pattern, we just apply it to the next sequence. See here, we've got a lot of work with the pinky here um, in terms of position shifts. Shift. Next sequence here, shift. So this is going to take a lot of practice to get right. Uh, and and uh, you want to make it as accurate as possible. So play slowly, practice slowly, and get that those position shifts down. So, next pattern. Okay, predictable enough. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Here. Because we get that horrible um, shape here where the index finger has to do a lot of jumping around. See that index finger shifting around. But uh, nothing that good practice won't solve. So keep it steady, make sure you keep it under control, that's the main thing. Next pattern. Okay, then. Okay, so I'll do it all together, slowly. Shift. 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 Watch this bit, index finger. Whoops, see what I mean? Shift. Last. You can end them however you however you wish. I just decided to um, just made a decision on the spot and just went for it. But change it up, you know, change things up. That's it's important to do that. Be creative with it. So that's uh, sequence or pattern number one. Let's do pattern number two now. So again, we're using the same basic shapes uh, that exist on the upper three strings here, but we're just applying a different series of notes. Okay, a different sequence of notes. So the next pattern is. Okay. And again, this is bloody awkward. Okay, because we've got, um, again, it's position shifts with that pinky. So, so 
So, same shapes again. Watch that one. And here, this is the one that's going to need the most practice. If you're anything like me, there is. Whoops. Okay, I'll do that nice and slowly from the top. For 22 and. Shift. Shift. Watch out for the index finger here. Shift. Okay, good. We're on to pattern number three now. Uh, so this is our little motif here. And we're just going to move that down again by step. We're in the same kind of positions. And again, use which, whatever picking pattern you want. Whatever you'd like. Um, so let's do it. And what we get here is a repeated note. So, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, make sure you do follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description, by the way. Uh, you will have seen me post this uh, sequence yesterday. So, um, shift. Oh. And again, this part here is going to be the one that, that needs more practice. Whatever the ending is. Um, so, nice and steady. Okay, that's all three patterns. Um, so the main thing here is we want to focus on obviously the picking pattern that you're using, you know, the pick strokes that you're using. Make sure that you know uh, whenever you cross from string to string, you know exactly what the movement is going to be, whether it's outside picking, inside picking or economy, where you go to the next string with the same stroke. Those are the three basic strokes when we're just using the pick only. So make sure you're fully aware of those when you're doing these patterns. Um, and also position shifts, especially with a pinky. You know, so I advise you to take it really, really steady. Make sure you stay in control of what, the, what you're doing uh, and really work on moving from one position to the next as slow as you can because that gives your brain enough time to assimilate the information it needs or send the signal to the fingers to actually perform the action. You know, it, it is, it's kind of scientific in a way. I don't like to approach it in a scientific way, but, um, you know, you can approach it like that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you get practicing, practicing these lines. Uh, I'm deciding at the moment whether to actually upload the tab and the, the drum loop to my website. Uh, if you want me to do that uh, for free, of course, uh, just let me know. Stick a, a comment in the description below, in the comment section below. Also remember there's 50% off my website lessons, uh, which represents incredible value for money, especially if you buy the bundle. There's like over 30 hours of uh, video footage there for like 97 or dollars, which is crazy. So it's not gonna last that much longer, so make sure you get on it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.